Hey guys, I'm Lavo Tupro Beats and today I want to take you on a boring studio day. I want to show you what I do on a regular day inside the studio from mixing, mastering and how I organize my stuff. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, hit the like button, let's get right into it. So the day usually starts with me making sure that I have everything organized, I have my iPad with me, I use Notability for uh, organizing my stuff and I make sure to go over every single project that I have, track the progress, if it's done, if I still have work to do, if I have new projects coming in, files to download, so everything gets organized, that's what I'm gonna do first. Also replying to emails and other boring things like that. Because this is the first day of work after Easter, organizing everything and downloading new projects, replying to email took more time than usual. Now that's done. And the first task for today to master a 10 track album. I'll be showing you how I prepare everything for mastering. One of the great features of Studio One is that it has a mastering page. One thing that I really appreciate So now I'm basically selecting the location for the project. Now that the project is made, I just drag and drop all the tracks into the mastering page. From this point, I usually add my basic mastering plugin chain because I know that's what I'm gonna use most of the time with a few changes from track to track, but I like having the chain right there so I don't have to go and search for plugins. I've been working on this project for a few hours. I think it's done. I have to export it. Uh, when mastering, I'm using oversampling. I'm using the best quality on each and every single plugin. The rendering time would probably be really long. So while I'm rendering, I will take a break. One thing that I like to do in my spare time while uh, waiting for things to render, while taking a break, is watch tutorials and watch other people mixing. So while my mastering project is rendering, I'll start watching Mix with the Masters, the new video from Jason Joshua. lunch break over time to get back to work. Now I want to start preparing some new projects for mixing and I want to do some new drafts for the projects that I already have. So this is the next step for today. So I've just finished working on another mix draft. I will export that and send it over to the client. On to the next one. This is a session preparation for a track called Roll With Me from Charles Bryan. I will show you how I usually prepare the tracks for mixing. Right now I'm creating the session, picking the location of the project, waiting for the mixing template to load up. Once I have the template loaded up, just drag and drop the files into the session. This is a basic session with just the mp3 instrumental and vocals. From this point I'm just grouping everything up in a way that makes sense. Ad-libs with ad-libs. From this point I like to do some light color grading just to make the session a bit more organized. Now let's make the routing. All my leads go to the first bus, all the ad-libs to the ad-lib bus. From this point I will do the basic balancing and I will start mixing and by the end of the session I will have a draft, send that out to the client. I 
think that's a wrap for this draft. I really like it. The artist already know what he wants. He has a lot of processing on his vocals. I'm here just to make sure that nothing sticks out in a negative way. I'm just here to tame a few things, just to make sure that the balance is right. And that's what I did. Now on to the next one. I've just finished another draft. On to the next one. I think I can squeeze one more and after that I need to edit this video. So I've just exported the last draft for the day. The last two ones were for the same client. I'll be sending those over the email and then I will proceed editing this video. So now I'm on my Mac. The Mac is connected via HDMI to the monitor. I can switch between the two systems. I will start editing and I will see you guys after that. I've just finished editing the video. It took me less than two hours to edit it. And I've just noticed that for the most part of the video, I was using the built-in microphone from the camera, which is pretty shitty. The funny thing about it is that on top of this camera, I have a pretty expensive mic connected with a small jack. And what happened is that by flipping the screen over and over again, I've just unplugged the mic from the camera. It was still plugged in, but not all the way in. Now I have to take a decision to post this video or not to post it. But I think it's a cool video, so I will probably finish editing it and I will upload it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I want to say a big thank you for the support. Please subscribe, hit the like button and follow me on Instagram. See you guys really, really soon. Cheers. Let me take a photo of this.